Hello. Okay, right. Assalamu alaikum. Um, this lecture comprises of two parts. One on the theory and one on practical for the uh, other half of the lecture. So, um, for the lecture, we do a bit of revision and then look at the model for survival analysis. Um, you know, non-parametric, semi-parametric, and parametric survival model, and we look at the parametric survival models, the use, the advantages, um, two forms or two matrices for parametric survival model. That is the proportional hazard, and the other one is the accelerated failure time model or matrix. Some of the common parametric model based on different distribution, assessment of parametric models and the software that we can use to run parametric survival model and some references that might be useful for you. Right. Um, the notes will be available for you. I'll put the link uh, under the YouTube videos. So um, you can read about the objectives and uh, for revision um, we talk about the Cox proportional hazard regression which is a semi parametric model and then um, we talk about um, parametric survival model. In parametric survival model, you have to specify the distributions of the outcome, which is the time to event. Similarly, you are interested to look at the, the factors that determine the survival. However, in parametric models, you can determine the acceleration factor and also the hazard ratio for some of the parametric survival model. The common parametric survival model include the exponential, the Weibull, the log logistic, and many, many more. The motivation for survival analysis, uh, as you may know, is to look at what factors that affect the time for an event, you know, for example, death or relapse. Um, the duration, you know, taken for the outcome to happen. The risk and the hazard are two other things that you can estimate from you know survival analysis and we know that you know for model for survival analysis there is non parametric model there is semi parametric and there is parametric survival model the non parametric survival models includes kepler meyer it is very common um, however this difficult to include covariates, you know, especially continuous covariates. Semi-parametric model, also very common, Cox proportional hazard regression, for example. Um, it is called as semi-parametric because the baseline survival or hazard is not specified. But we specify the um, the risks uh, or the prognostic factors or the covariates. In parametric survival model, um, you know, you, you oh, you know, um, It, it is different because you know you have to specify the distributions of the time to event. 
The advantages of a uh, parametric survival analysis model is that you know you can use full maximum likelihood. Um, you can estimate coefficients or transformations that might be clinically uh, you know meaningful. Um, you can fit the values to estimate the survival time. You can't do that in non-parametric or semi-parametric. You can also compute residual based on the difference between observed and predicted values of time. In parametric survival models, um, you may have Weibull model, log logistic, log normal, exponential model, and general high gamma model. There are a few more out there. Exponential model is the simplest um, parametric survival model. Next, I think a uh, Weibull model. So you have um, two matrices. One is the pH matrix, also known as the proportional hazard parametric models. And the other one is the AFT matrix or the accelerated failure time models. So this is an example of accelerated failure time model if you run exponential parametric survival model. For example, if you uh, look at the book by Hosmer and Lemesho, Applied Survival Analysis, Table 8.1, this is the results, okay? The female, uh, female against male and the outcome as time until death. So this is the log time, okay? Log time. This is not log hazard, okay? This is log time. The log time for uh, for female is uh, minus 0 0.602. Then you can use this to estimate the median survival time to death, 7.04 months. The estimated median time to death for um, female one, which is um, female, and this is on male. Is 3.86 so the ratio between the two female against male is 0 0.55 this is time ratio you can easily exponentiate this value okay so again exponential model is the most common parametric and uh, I won't say the most common but I would say the simplest parametric model um, if you run uh, exponential survival model, uh, whether in in pH or AFT matrices, you got this value similar, right? 1.5 to 7, 1.5 to 7, but the symbol is different. So, um, so this is the log hazard for the event this the hazard um, for treatment this the hazard for the non treat non treated group this is the has estimated as a ratio which is the exponentiations of this value or the ratio between the two you run aft you got the same value but you know different uh, notation not different notion symbol is reversal of symbol right? or direction um what else okay if you run aft um i think this is another example right okay aft 1.27 um this is another example okay another example If you run Weibull survival model, Weibull survival model has two matrices, the pH and the AFT. But you have to be careful because um, the value here, unlike the exponential distribution, they are not similar. Of course, one is negative, one is positive, but the value itself is different you cannot simply you know change the value and and, and exponentiate it 
to get the uh, hazard ratio or the time ratio. So you have log normal distribution, log logistic, and uh, of course you have to assess the, the model that you are using. You can use AIC to compare the models. Um, what else? R can, uh, I mean, if you want to run a parametric survival model, you can use survival package in R. Unfortunately, survival package in R only runs AFT model. Um, there is another useful package in R, Flex Serve, F L E X S U R V, that can run both AFT and PH model. Um, the interface, if you run, if you run the Stata, the interface in Stata is very good. It's very clear to which model that you can run uh, PH and which model that you can run both or which model that only valid for AFT. I highly suggest that you read uh, Claim Bound, Survival Analysis, Osmo Elementary Book, uh, Applied Survival Analysis, and some of the references here. Um, okay, let's go to practical. Um, there are two packages at least that you know we can use to run parametric survival analysis. One is the survival package, and the other one is the flex serve package. Um, survival package only run AFT model but flex serve can run both AFT and and PH model okay so I write here AFT model and not PH model for survival flex serve can run both for example Weibo AFT and PH so um, there is a dataset edX.dta. You can read this data into R using a Haven package and use the function read underscore dta. So um, a small dataset contain the ID of the patient, the survival time the variable survival time, the variable status, variable clinic, variable prison, and those. And then uh, load library database. If you want to do some data wrangling or some data visualization, run uh, glimpse for data to have a peek at the variables of, of the data set and uh, run summary and data inside brackets to get the quick summary statistics um, let's run the exponential model in survival package survival um, colon colon serve rag so serve rag is the function to run parametric survival model in survival package so load the library and then this is to um, This is to declare that your data is a survival data. So this is your data set. This is the variable for time. This is the event. This is the data set. This is the variable for event. And this is the value that represent the failure. Then uh, run a serve rag, 
this is the outcome variable which is this one put the covariates here specify the data set specify the distribution use summary function to get the um, results of estimation scale fix at one it means that uh, the hazard or the risk is constant over time which is you know a requirement for exponential model so interpret model using the af or acceleration factor or time ratio simply exponentiate the value of the beta um, so it tells you which factor accelerates the time for an outcome um, for exponential model you can estimate the hazard ratio just by um, changing the symbol here from negative to positive in Weeble model, um, use surfreg and then specify DIST equal Weeble. This is the AFT matrix for the survival model. Again, um, interpret the result using the AF or time ratio. If you want to convert, you know, uh, from AFT to PH, you can't do that in survival package. You can use a package serve rag sense curve. This and and use the convert we bool function, and this will show you. Uh, Weeble model based on the proportional hazard and based on the AFT matrices. Or you can use the FlexSurf package. In FlexSurf package, similar um, what we call formula and uh, parameters except that you need to use the function flag serve reg here for weeble in the aft matrix use dist equal weeble for proportional hazard um, choose dist equal weeble ph this will return the hazard ratio or log hazard and this one is the log time or uh, time ratio you can use weeble dike function to assess the weeble model and for prediction uh, for example for a weeble model based on uh, prediction based on new data for example if you want to predict the time for um, someone from prison one dose 50 and clinic number one um, can you predict uh, the model new data which is this one and type quantile p quant dot p so this is uh, the time for 25 percent of the population of study to um, reach the uh, failure 50 percent and 75 percent and these are the days so the median survival time where 50% of the sample um, um, what we call developed uh, failure um, was 254.2 days 
You can plot the predicted survival time using this function. This is uh, a AFT model for log logistic. And of course, if you run different model, they will give different uh, estimates uh, for your model, even though you are using the same data set. Because, you know, um, it depends on your assumed distributions of the outcome. This, that is the hard part, okay? To determine which distribution uh, perfectly mimic uh, your data. Um, you can use a surfeit to um, return the Kaplan-Meier estimates and from there you can plot and look at this uh, you know, uh, parallel uh, hazard uh, for example for this clinic 1 and clinic 0 if they are parallel then you are they are happy that uh, it fulfills the pH assumption. You can um, plot the survival probability. For example, we run uh, another Weibo model, Servreg, with uh, this covariate. Uh, this is uh, a data on um, lung cancer, I think. Uh, distribution Weibo. And then uh, you have to run a little bit of code to plot this uh, survival probability and of course there are many many more parametric models that you can run especially with flex uh, package don't forget uh, you can have better understanding of survival analysis if you read Lambound book um, survival analysis a self-learning text and also a book by Hosmer, Lemichaud and May Applied Survival Analysis um, A survival uh, document on CRAN and also this RPUBS uh, publication Alright, thank you